What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to add sound effects to your renderings using the built-in sound effects tools inside of Lumion. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so in this video what we're going to do is we're going to use the Farnsworth House example model inside of Lumion. So you can load that inside of the examples section. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go into build mode and we're going to take a look at some of the options that we have for adding sound inside of our renderings. So to start off, you can access the sound at least in version 9.5, which is what I'm making this video in, by going down and clicking on the sound function. If you have a future version, it's probably around there somewhere, but it may look a little bit different. But the sound effects are treated just like other objects inside of Lumion in the sense that what you do is you place them using place mode. So in order to add a sound effect, for example, you would click on sound, then you'd come in here and you'd click on place. And so when you click on this, what you're going to get is you're going to get access to the sound library. And what you can do is you can click across these different um, these different icons in order to see different kinds of sound effects. And so it's a little trial and error in the sense that you have to mouse over these. in order to hear what these sound effects sound like. But, but you can see how, for example, there are a ton of different sounds in here depending on what you're looking for. So construction sites, high schools, offices, playgrounds, all sorts of things like that. Well, in this particular situation, we want to add a sound effect that kind of makes sense. So we're going to go into our nature settings. And so for our nature settings, there's a whole bunch of different sound effects like waves and jungle parks. There's thunder, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But in this case, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to use this jungle sound effect. Um, probably the jungle louse sound effect. That's probably the closest for what we have right here. It's a little off, but we'll go ahead and we'll use that one. So in order to place that, you're just going to click on the sound effect and then you can click somewhere inside of your rendering. So like for example, I'm going to place this right here. And so when you do this, what you're going to notice is this gets placed in here just like any other piece of Lumion rendering geometry. So like any of the buildings or anything like that, you can see how it has a location associated with it. If you go into select mode, you can move it around just like you can anything else. And so the first thing you're going to notice here is this actually has two circles on it. Well, the two circles are affecting how much you can hear the sound within a certain distance. So you can see how as I get closer to this center point, the louder this gets. As I move back, the quieter it gets. And then once I move outside of this circle, I can't hear the sound effect at all. And so you can, you can adjust the way that these work by using these little sliders over here. So the minimum and maximum distance are going to affect how far out you can hear this from. And you can see those indicated by these green circles. And so like for example right now my maximum distance is um, whatever I set this to be. So I can set this to be like 30 meters or something like that. And in this situation what you would want to do is you would want to set this max distance so that it doesn't overlap into your building because you don't want, unless there's like a window open or something, you don't want to be able to hear birds chirping from inside of your building, but you do when you get outside of your building. And so one thing you're going to notice right now is if I start at the outside of the circle, I can't really hear the bird sounds very much at all. But if I get closer, you can see how those get stronger until once I'm inside this inside circle, the sounds are at full strength. Well, you can adjust this fall off by adjusting this minimum distance. So you can see how as I click and drag this minimum distance, this circle moves outward. And so that means that anything inside of that minimum distance is going to get the full sound effect of this sound. You can also adjust the volume using this slider right here. And so let's say that I wanted to create a video where we had birds chirping in the front view up here. And then from a back view, we had thunder and lightning and we had like a rain view. So what I would do in this particular situation is I would add another sound effect. So probably the thunder and moderate heavy rain and I would drop that right here. And then I would adjust that
so that this particular sound effect would show up on the back side and the other one would show up on the front side. And so then what we would do is we would take these and inside of our movie mode, so we would go to movie mode and then let's go ahead and we'll use, I think we're going to use this view and then probably this view and you can see how that sound kind of like kind of fades in as the camera moves across so probably what I would do is go back into build mode and I would move that camera so that it's intersecting or that sound where it's intersecting more where that camera would be so then if we go back to movie mode and play this again you can see how we would get that all the way across here because the camera is inside of the radius of that sound well then and I'm gonna delete out a bunch of these extra example views because we don't need them for what we're doing right here and then we'll just move these across here and so this first one is pretty much set. It's got the bird sounds and it's kind of ready to go. For the second one, what we would want to do is for this view, we would want to apply maybe like an overcast and then also precipitation. And probably I would go ahead and I would apply like a uh, overcast real sky as well. So what that gives me is that gives me a rainy view coming across the face here. So you can see how that rain's coming in. Um, and you can kind of adjust the way that that rain looks by adjusting the precipitation here. But then what I would do is I would just render this and I would have a scene where I have birds chirping over here. And I have rain coming down over here. And so I'm just going to make these a little bit shorter and then I'll render them out just so you can see what the final result would look like. And we'll render this fairly re low resolution so it renders kind of quickly, but we're just going to click on um, render movie. That'll render all of the scenes. And we'll leave our frames per second and our output quality low just so this goes faster. And I'm just going to render this to HD. And we'll call this sound effect render. And we'll just let this render out. And so you can see how this renders fairly quickly because we turn the quality down. We're more focused on the sound for this video anyway. So we'll let this render out and then we'll come back and take a listen to uh, how exactly those effects sound inside of this video. All right, so once this is done rendering, if we play this video, You can see how in the first clip, we've got the birds chirping in the background, and then when this transitions to the second clip, you can see how we've got the rain in the background over here. So this is a pretty easy way to add sound effects to your Lumion renderings. I would say if you have a video editing program or something like that, um, you get a little bit more control over what you can do with those sounds if you add those that way. But either way, this is a really easy way to add those sounds in if that's something you want to do. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you used Lumion sound effects before? Um, I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.